Gage Brain, this is the Verd back with you again. Welcome here to another Pokemon TCG video. We are here today with a really cool ADP list. It's kind of similar to Xander Perros, but I did do a few alterations just from what I saw at a recent league challenge that I wouldn't have a crack of myself because the premise seemed really strong. So, if you guys are keen for this video, make sure you like all that good shit. Um, it is very much similar to Xander's list. The only key difference I would say is that I've gone with a double Cryogonal and the double Absol. So Double Absol, I found, was really, really effective in the matchup against things like Malamar, because you force a Jirachi, even with an escape board, to have to have um, two energies on it in order to be able to retreat, which is kind of nuts. Um, it shuts down things like Mewtwo as well, because then they can't just play the Jirachis out, and it becomes a little bit trickier for them, especially since you're running the Get Lost Giraffe Rig, which can just be a massive detriment. The Double Cryogonal is really sick too, because Double Cryogonal plus Double Absol just lets you easily beat Baby Blounds. Um, not an issue at all. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Really liking Rosa in this deck. Um, I think that Rosa gives you so many options. Being able to search for a Pokemon trainer card and a basic energy. So, one of the really cool plays you can do with Rosa in some matchups. Um, it worked better with some other cards. Like, Counter Gain, I feel... I still feel like it could be strong, but then again, now that I'm looking at the list that I have, I actually think that counter game will probably get swapped out. Uh, most likely, because you're not running the Mimikyu anymore, um, I would drop out the counter game and run a Choice Helmet. Uh, reason being for that is the Choice Helmet allows ADP to live a Flare Blitz GX from a Mewtwo, which is incredibly significant. Um, everything else in here, relatively straightforward, I'll just go over them. So the Absol makes retreat costs one more, ADP is the main attacker of the deck. Ultimate Ray is just crazy. Being able to attach three energies from your deck to Pokemon. Ultra Creation GX for a Water and a uh, Metal. You're able to take an extra prize card and do an extra 30 damage with every attack. Jirachi, you know him, you love him. Stellar Wishing are all around the place. Lucario Melmetal just to basically auto win the Guardian matchup with Heavy Impact. Just going for Weakness. Giraffe Rig with Get Lost like I showed in the uh, Blacephalon deck. Really good against Mewtwo. Uh, Cryogonal with Frozen Lock beats all the stall decks, and then Keldeo GX uh, allows you to beat a lot of the GX heavy decks. No other really new cards, Chaos Swell is just a really strong card in general. And then down here the other energies are just Water and Metal, so yeah, a uh, pretty solid ADP list. I'm keen to try it out, I've been testing a little bit with ADP, it was actually a deck that I was very much considering uh, for Brisbane Regionals, um, but I ended up going with Mewtwo instead. I thought ADP had a lot of potential. It did see a top 8 finish, so it clearly was a very strong deck. We have an interesting matchup here, a lot of uh, different typings, so not sure what I'm expecting here. I do win the coin flip, so of course I will go first. Um, getting this ADP set up as soon as possible is the main premise of the deck. We have opened horrendously though. <laughs> what on earth is this hand? We'll open with Giraffe Rig, I suppose. Uh, we're hoping to hit maybe a Tag Call. Tag Call will be good. Uh, Jirachi also works. Thank God. So we hit the Jirachi, and now we can actually start playing Pokemon. We're going to Stellar Wish. Hopefully hit a Tag Call for Stellar Wish. We do not hit a Tag Call. We do hit a Cherish Ball, though, and I will take the Cherish Ball. Looks like we're playing against potentially Mewtwo, because it's a Muck Muck. Uh, we are going to use a Cherish Ball to find us an Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Slap that thing down. Uh, put a Choice Helmet on it, and then attach the Water Energy for turn. Um, no need to Mallow and Lana and switch. I think we are fine with the way things are. So, ideal top deck probably is... Or the ideal thing for Jirachi to find us is a Tag Call. I see a buff padding on the Muck Muck. Interesting. Um, yeah, Tag Call would be ideal to get us Guzma and Hala. Um, get a Swell down would be really good. Um, yep, yeah, Swell. The Escape Board for Jirachi. And then also the Rainbow Energy for Arceus, Diagra, and Palkia. We can discard the Lucario and Bell Metal and probably the Malo and Lana. We get another Jirachi, that can be a discard as well. So we're going to hope we can hit a Tag Call right now. We hit a Cynthia, that's still pretty damn good. I will take a Cynthia to the bank. Uh, we are going to throw that Cynthia down, hopefully hit a Metal and a Way of Switching. We hit the Metal and the Way of Switching. Incredible. That worked out way better than expected. So we can get that Chaos Wall down and we can switch up our Arceus, Diago, and Palkia to fire off that Altered Creation GX. Now we are taking an extra prize with every knockout and dealing an extra 30 damage, which is incredible. 
Only thing we're lacking now, I would say, is just a Pokemon to attach energy to with Ultimate Ray. Um, but in saying that, our opponent currently is not pressuring any kinds of damage unless they do go for the nasty goo mix, which I believe just needs no, it needs a lot of energies attached. So he's getting a nasty goo mix, but it's not going to be as effective. It is just poisoned and I believe paralyzed for a turn. No real big deal. Uh, we do get a cryogonal here. Not overly useful, but we are going to attach one metal to the ADP and then pass for turn. We are going to break through that paralysis and pass it back to our opponent and say, what are you going to do? Um, we can go for the ultimate ray next turn. They could slap down on the energy, but it won't do much because well, if they get the psychic energy, they can severe poison us, which could be a little bit scary if we can't find any card to play. But they need to have the psychic energy in hand to be able to force that attack out. They also need then one more energy on top of that to use poison absorption. So they choose to attach to the muck muck on the bench, um, leaving the one in the active very vulnerable. Can we get a Pokemon? We get a custom catcher. We can use that though. We can play the Cryogonal. I think what we'll do is we'll put a rainbow onto the giraffe, just in case we see a Mewtwo come down. We're going to catch it for two. Uh, Goose Mahala is not a bad card to pick up. Whether I think it's useful is another question. I actually think we're better off targeting that Muck Muck. Due to its high retreat cost, we are going to throw out the great catcher here. Bring up that Muck Muck, and we are going to go straight for the ultimate ray for 180 damage. Put this thing in range of a knockout. And when it comes to energies, we're going to just grab... I think uh, one water energy to give to our Cryogonal at this stage. I don't think we need anything else at this point. Um, our opponent is not looking like they're attacking anytime soon. Not sure if they have a way of switching. We are top decking though, which isn't ideal, but that's why I'm trying to force this Muck Muck to stay active. If we can get a knockout on it, then we're looking pretty good. And it looks like he is going to give us the knockout, so that puts us in a really good spot. And we top deck another Custom Catcher. Let's draw some cards. We get another ADP. That is fan. Flippantastic. We can attach there. We can take a knockout on this Muck Muck right now. And then be able to grab two steals. And that's all we need. Just the two medals. We're going to put them onto our Arceus Diagra and Palkia on the bench. So after this Arceus Diagra and Palkia gets knocked out, the other one can come in too and get the job done. And then we can grab three prizes now for the knockout. Tag Call is really, really good. Gets us Mallow and Lana. Water energy is fine, and a rainbow energy is fine. Oh, that's right, because we used Ultra Creation, we get another prize as well. So, uh, my opponent is probably going to go for one more energy attach of like a Psychic here, and then go for Poison Absorption if they have it. Uh, we're going to see, we just see a forfeit. So, I mean, I guess they just didn't have anything going for them. Super weird matchup though, I don't, I don't really know what they were running. Buff padding was kind of weird. Uh, we ended up hitting a lot of things. We did have to take a few risks, but obviously gusting up that muck proved to be very beneficial, getting that crucial knockout. They didn't have a way of retreating it, and then we were able to take advantage from there. So, yeah. Deck did what it was meant to do. Uh, the Stellar Wish... Can't... Yeah, they got what we needed, so we're playing Malamar now. Uh, this is a favorable matchup. Especially if we go first here. We want to win this coin flip. Okay, sick. So we want to win that coin flip, because it means that they don't get Latios down turn one to... That's a really good starting hand as well. If they can't get Latios down, then we're in a really favorable position here at the early part of this game. We see a Mulligan from our opponent, which is even better. We're probably going to Tag Call for a um, Guzma and Hala. So we want Guzma and Hala here because we want to put down Chaos Swell. Shut down their Viridian Forest immediately. We grab a Custom Catcher. That's actually a really important card for this matchup too. So we are going to go for the Energy... Sorry, the um, Escape Board. We are going to Tag Call for... Arceus, Diagra, and Palkia, and a Guzma and Hala, for sure. Definitely two cards we need. What are some cards we don't need in this matchup? Probably Reset Stamp. Um, and maybe something off Stellar Wish. We'll see. Uh, Great Catcher we don't need, so it is an easily discardable card here. So we're going to discard Reset Stamp and Great Catcher with the Guzma and Hala. So we will discard Great Catcher and Reset Stamp right now to get us the Chaos Swell. Um, I... Do we have a board? We do already have a board, so I think Choice Helmet maybe is better, and then Rainbow Energy. Do we have another Jirachi in hand? We do not. So I think these are fine. These are more than fine, so we can attach the Rainbow, attach the Helmet, and then Swell, and then Pass for Turn. I think this is fine. It's very unlikely that my opponent's going to be able to get out Latios GX and use it immediately which means we should be able to get off our Altered Creation GX next turn, 
and then be bringing down the pain with some attacks. We do have custom catches as well, which are incredibly useful in this matchup. We see Lily's full force, so probably not a great Malamar list, if I'm being honest with you. Lily's full force is not a very good card. Um, you just run Cynthia and Lily in this deck. We see the Copycat Mimikyu. That could be a little bit dangerous, but thankfully it's a psychic one, not the fairy one, so we should be able to play around it just fine. Shouldn't be an issue at all, so we'll see. We'll see him bump the stadium with Viridian Forest. Not a big deal, though. Not seeing a lot coming out from our opponent here. Not feeling overly threatened at all. Um, they are going to play the Mysterious Treasure, probably discarding Giratina or an Energy. There is the Energy discard. Either hunting for another Inkay or potentially a Latios. Okay, so they are going to give the Inkay, so they're probably going to let me have the Alter Creation GX, which I am more than okay with if they allow me to have that. Um, got a switch as well to bring up the Jirachi again to Stellar Wish for me, which I like a lot. They are playing down a lot of cards in their hands, so they're going to get the uh, full plays off here. Potentially another NK coming down, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I don't know. We we will uh, we'll find out in a second. What um what our opponent is going to do here, what they are going to choose to add. Um, it is going to be another NK that is kind of expected. Uh, they do. I don't think they discard any cards from their hand with lose full force. I think it's only if you have like more than three you have to discard. Oh, just one there. Okay, cool. So, pass it back to me. Pretty okay turn from my opponent, not gonna lie, it's not bad. We'll attach here for turn, so we have our GX attack going off. Uh, we'll probably take the Cynthia, you know. I think Cynthia's pretty solid here uh, overall. I don't even know if I need to use it this turn, but I don't see any reason not to. We can probably find all the cards we need again next turn. Uh, or I could hold on to it. Maybe I'll hold on to it for next turn to attach. Although my opponent could be attacking me next turn, so I might want Mallow and Lana. So I think I will throw out a Cynthia. I think it is the play. I think I will probably be able to hit an energy of some sort next turn. We do hit the Swell. And we hit a Lucario on Mel Metal, which is just really solid. Find a Cherish Ball. Probably just for thinning purposes, we'll grab a Keldeo. Uh, more going to use it for a PCOM later in the game. But we are going to be able to retreat now. Out to our Arceus Diagra and Palkia and Alter Creation GX. Once again on our second turn, without fail, it is going down for real. And then next turn, we can just uh, chuck on that Rainbow Energy with ease. We have a Mallow and Lana in hand, so even if they do get damage onto us, we can just heal it off very easily, very effectively. If we can catch up that Mimikyu, that's probably the main thing I want to target because of the fact they can copy the Ultimate Ray. We are going to see a Distortion Door, no big deal at all. Being able to charge up this Lucario on Mel Metal is also just incredibly good. He is forced to put the thing on NK. Uh, he only has two cards in hand, so he's probably going to hunt for a Supporter, I suppose, on this turn. He doesn't have a Switch, though, so bringing up the Jirachi is interesting. How many Psychics in discard? Only one, so wow, okay. I believe he just added a Great Catcher. Not a big deal, because we have a Malo and Lana in our hand, so we can just bring that guy back. Uh, we are going to see the Great Catcher played. So my opponent has no cards in hand. He's just hoping I can't do shit. Unfortunately for him, there is a lot of shit that I can do. So we are going to just um, Mallow and Lana. I believe we're just going to use it for its initial effect of switching. I misplayed there. I should have brought up the Jirachi to get off a Stellar Wish, but, you know, them's the breaks. We are going to just throw down another Rainbow Energy onto our ADP. And then just declare Ultimate Ray for Knockout. So they have no way to search any cards right now. Uh, we are going to grab two Metals and one uh, Water. Primarily because we're going to save the Waters for Keldeo or Cryogonal. And we are going to take two prizes here. I don't believe they have any Psychic Energies in Discard. So they are literally just top decking to stay in the game at this point. We're going to take those bottom two prize cards. Um, we do hit a Tag Call which is very, very nice. Uh, the Lucario Metal Metal with one more Energy will be all set up. We have the Malamon Lana coming in. And they hit an adventure bag, which isn't too bad. They do get spell tags off of this, which is pretty cool for my opponent, not going to lie. But I feel like we are just so far ahead in this game at this point, it's not even funny. And they have to bring up the Mimikyu and then Filch, which just feels like it's a really bad play for them. They're going to be even further behind on prizes. There's just no way back, I think, at this stage. We can just attach here for turn. We can just tag call to find another Mal and Lana, Cynthia and Caitlyn. Easy peasy. We can just throw off a Cynthia and Caitlyn discarding the Keldeo to just draw 
We can add back Cynthia, I think. Uh, I think Malo Alana's better. Just being able to consistently heal against Malamara is going to win us the game. Oh, and we hit the Absol. Oh, we actually almost hit double Absol. Unfortunately, well, we almost did. It's fine. Uh, we can just Ultimate Ray again for knockout. We don't really lose anything by it. No need to move any energies or attach any energies. We just take the knockout. He can put damage wherever he wants. We take another two prizes. Even with that skateboard on Inkay, it actually can't retreat now unless he puts an energy onto it. So we are in a ridiculously good position. And there is a concession, as expected. We just had way too much advantage at that stage of the game. There was no way my opponent was coming back into that one. ADP just completely shutting him down, putting in the finest of work. So really happy with how the deck just performed then. It was so good. That's how it should be against Malamar. You just kind of get off the altar creation. They tried to bring up the um, Lucario Mel Metal, which is fair enough, but luckily I did have a way of switching in hand, so it meant that that uh, ploy wasn't really as successful as they wanted it to be. Um, we see mm, a lot of those cards. This leans me towards either its ADP with the Mimikyu in it, or this is the Neganadel and Persian. Regardless, we want to go first here. Um, opening is a bit lackluster. I'm going to open with the Absol, though. I think it's actually not too bad. We are going first. We're going to see what we're going up against, hopefully. Uh, we're only going to see one card, but hopefully that tells us something. We see a Cryo, so it looks like it's a Mirror Match, which is really good. So, double Cherish Ball. We're going to grab ADP. The other one is Prize. No big deal. We grab ADP and the other Keldeo for sure. Thin that deck out as much as possible. We're going to skateboard onto the Absol. And then put down these three guys. And then probably just Cynthia this hand away. Pretty solid start. If we can find energy now, we get the Swell we can chuck down. Uh, we have the Jirachi as well, which I could play this turn. Or I can save it for next turn. Personally, I want to save it for next turn. I feel... Well, actually, I can play it this turn. There's no actual, like, loss in doing it. We're just going to retreat, bring out the Jirachi, fire off that Stellar Wish. Maybe we can hit another Escape Board as we do. Do we have another Cynthia in hand? Oh, you betcha we do. This is looking incredible for us, guys. A really, really solid start to this game. We have the Switch just in case he puts down his own Absol. We can just pass here. Um, really strong start. Really, really strong. Uh, we should be able to get the Alter Creation off immediately and then put a lot of pressure onto our opponent we do see a Cynthia and Caitlyn the only thing we're lacking maybe is a great catcher to bring up an ADP for an easy knockout uh, or just like an attack into ultimate ray to be able to charge up our Keldeos to put in work we do see an Absol of their own come down so that's what I was talking about they're trying to put the pressure back on us it ain't no big deal though I think we can handle that pressure just fine at this stage our hand is looking insanely strong it looks like they're not going to retreat the cryo either which is fine by me uh, we do have the energy here to attach to our ADP, um, and we do have a Stellar Wish available to us, which I'm sure we can find a good use for. Uh, what would I like to grab here? Hmm. Custom Catch is good. Realistically, do I want to grab anything from this, though? Because I'm going to play into Cynthia, I think, so I'm just going to choose to not grab a single card. We are going to switch up into the ADP, and then we are going to throw out the Cynthia, to be able to draw a fresh hand. Uh, lots of energies. I do not mind that one bit. We are going to alter creation GX. We just needed one of these energies, but I'll take all of them. It's fine. We have a tag call, which can get us Mallow and Lana, which I'm pretty cool with, because that is a switch card for our deck, which is neato. Uh, we do get the knockout next turn on either the Absol or the Cryogonal. If I had to choose one or the other, probably the Absol is one I would choose. If I can custom catch that up and get it knocked out, I will take that to the bank. We'll see, though. Knowing they have the Fairy means that they run the Mimikyu, so I have to be really careful of how I play this. They have the Guzma and Hala, which means they may play the Guzma and Hala this turn to preemptively know that I'm going to Ultimate Ray for Knockout, and then they can just use Rosa on the next turn. Guzma and Hala, well, they don't even need, like, Guzma and Hala for that. They can just use Rosa to grab Mimikyu, counter gain, and an energy. They kind of just hold off here, which is very interesting. Um, I'm going to attach an energy there, and then tag call. Probably for Cynthia and Caitlyn and Mallow and Lana seems most appropriate. 
Gonna play the Cynthia and Caitlyn, and probably just gonna discard this Rainbow Energy. Um, grab back a Cynthia, and we're just hunting maybe for a Custom Capture here, would be ideal. We do whiff the Custom Capture, but we do hit a second Absol, which is pretty darn strong at this stage of the game. Uh, locking out Retreats, we are just gonna Ultimate Ray onto this Cryogonal, get a hefty bit of damage off, and then charge up one of our Keldeos. We do have a Mallow and Lana in hand, so we can deal with the Keldeo's uh, Sonic Edge with absolute ease, and then our own Keldeo can start laying the smack down to their Keldeo. Uh, we're just going to pick up two free prizes here as well. A custom catch off these prizes would be great. We do not see it though, but that's no big deal at this stage of the game. We may see the Rosa play from our opponent here. We are going to wait and see. There is the Rosa, so I assume it is going to be Rosa into counter gain, Mimikyu, and a rainbow energy. Well, he can't get rainbow energy, but he could be running the fairy energy. We're about to find out uh, if my opponent is going to choose to go with that ploy. I still feel like it's in my favor, even if they do that, because I just knock them out with the Keldeo, and then all I need to do, like I said, is grab that other custom catcher to bring up the Absol to win the game. So, I don't know. I feel like things are still very much in my favor here. With double Absol down, I'm really restricting his retreats. He's relying heavily on Malawalana and Switches, so I kind of welcome this knockout because it makes my path to victory a lot clearer. It is literally just knocking out the Mimikyu after it kills my ADP, and then finding the second Custom Catcher to knock out his Absol, and then bada boom, we're done. That's how stupid Alter Creation is. It just ends games incredibly quickly, and I love it. Uh, my opponent does get the Mimikyu as expected. This is no surprise to me. The plus side of this is, though, he needs to have a Switch in hand, or else that Mimikyu ain't doing shit this turn. So we see the counter gain. We're probably going to see an energy attached to it. We need to see a switch or else nothing is going to happen. We see a reset stamp. But like I said, if we don't see a switch, nothing's going to happen. Uh, we get put into some decent cards. Uh, the reset stamp is actually a really solid card to get put into. Uh, as we are going to be able to knock this thing out with Keldeo next turn. And then we just need to find double custom catcher for game. Which I think our deck is thin enough. Almost to the point where it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Especially if somehow we top deck a Rosa heading into next turn. Uh, that would be phenomenal. I mean, he's just going to go for the knockout here with Mimikyu. And I'm just probably going to Cynthia and Caitlyn away the Swell. And grab back a Cynthia. And then we're going to go from there. So he should be able to knock us out here with the Copycat. Um, apparently he can't declare the attack. Is that because he needs to have a Fairy Energy on instead of the Water? Potentially. I think he was screwed either way because, like I said, my Keldeo was fully set up, so next turn I just knock out his uh, Mimikyu. Then his Keldeo comes down and can attack me, but I had the Malawan Lana in hand, I'm pretty sure, so I think I was fine. Um, I, I think I had the Malawan Lana, because no, it was a Guzma and Haller and a Cynthia and Caitlyn, but I think it still would have been okay at that stage of the game. I uh, Forgot to see what my opponent's running, but I am just going to choose to go first because I think it is the safest play to make. So, how do we open? Pretty poorly. However, uh, we could be okay. It's all going to depend on what our top deck is. So, let's see. Let, let's see what we can open with here. I'm hoping if we can draw a Pokemon. That's not a Pokemon. Okay, well, Swell's fine. We're playing against Malamar. Uh, none of these energies on Cryogonal would be ideal. I think we're just going to Cynthia. Um, and hopefully we can hit... Yep, there's the Switch. And there's the Jirachi. Cool. So, that's pretty good for us. Gets the Jirachi up. And hopefully we can hit a Tag Call here or a Cherish Ball. One of those two would be great. We get neither. Uh, that's pretty bad. I guess we'll take a Custom Catcher. So a bit of a slow start here against Malamar, not ideal, however, we don't know how well they're going to be able to open up, so I'm not going to bother attaching any energy, I'm just going to pass. Really slow start from us though, next turn I need to be able to hit something good off that Stellar Wish. If we hit a Cherish Ball or a Tag Call there, we were in just an insane position, because I would have grabbed Guzma and Harla and ADP, and then I would have had everything I needed to be able to kind of just run through from there. Unfortunately, we didn't get that lucky, but the fortunate part is it looks like our opponent uh, hasn't opened that great either. We see a Pcom, Mew's going to go back, and Inkay is probably going to come out, I would assume. Or it's going to be a Giratina to discard for an Inkay, or a Jirachi, because that also works. Uh, potentially energy attachment to the Mimikyu to retreat it. Yep. 
out to Jirachi so then he can get off those Stellar Wishes, just like I am. Fair enough play. With only 1k down though, I'm feeling pretty fine about the start here. Me starting slow is seeming okay. He's already cynthia for the turn, so another Cynthia does not bother me. Yep, so only 1k down. I feel like I'm okay with this. We get a Choice Helmet that doesn't help us one bit. We need to hit something good off the Stellar Wish, and we get Cynthia. That'll do. Cynthia will do. She should hopefully get us into either a Tag Call or a uh, Cherish Ball uh, with an Energy. We get the Energy, we get the Tag Call. Sweet. So Tag Call, we want to grab Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, and Gooseburn and Hala for sure. Um, they are the two we are hunting here. So Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia attach an Energy for turn. We Goose Mahala next turn uh, to get the Escape Board, and then we are able to fire off a... Um, Altered Creation GX, so that is the plan. Guzman Hala next turn, probably discarding a Communication and a Water Energy to grab uh, another Swell in case he bumps it. Um, there's a Cynthia from our opponent, interesting. I guess he had to put it down instead of being able to discard it, so that's, yeah. Here's what it is, another Inke, Spell Tag on the Giratina. Not seeing a way to switch your Jirachi though, which I'm finding very interesting. So I'm feeling okay about this. We do get the Rainbow Energy to attach to our ADP next turn. We see it has to be an Acro Bike for our opponents. They're definitely digging for that switch, probably for their Jirachi um, at some point. We do see another Psychic in the bin. Do we see an Escape Board or a Switch coming? Probably not this turn. They're not really afraid of it this turn. Um, next turn is going to be the big one. Uh, we do see the Viridian Forest Bumps. That's why, like I said, the Guzma Hala is really important. So it's probably going to be all we see from our opponent this turn. Uh, we see his Jirachi wake up too, not a big deal. We do draw into another Pecom. Probably just going to discard both of them. I don't think they're needed at this stage of the game. Uh, question mark. Actually, no, they might be. I'm going to keep one of them. So I think I'm going to Guzma and Hala still. Because if Jirachi can hit a Cherish Ball, I'd like to be able to find a... Um, I'd like to be able to find an Absol right now. So we are going to grab all this good stuff. We're going to board. We're going to swell. We're going to go for that, and then we're going to Stellar Wish and hope we can hit a... Hmm. Well, the double custom catches I will take. I think that is a really important thing to grab. So I'm down with that. We've got double customs. We can hit the Absol later in the game. It's no big deal. We retreat out to ADP right now and fire off that Altered Creation GX. Oh yeah. So then once he gets one Malamar set up now, we can immediately knock it out afterwards with the custom catches. And we're going to see how far he can go. The only thing we whiffed that turn was the Pokemon communication. Because then it would have meant that he had to find a switch instead of just finding an escape board to be able to attack with Giratina. He hits the treasure, so we got definitely one Malamar on board. But at this stage, my, my flight path is knocking out one Malamar, knocking out Giratina, and then that's just it, pretty much. Um, only thing I'm lacking now is, in contention with Absol, just another attacker. So maybe like Lucario Melmetal on the bench next turn will prove to be quite beneficial. Discarding a Lily tells me they already have a supporter in hand. I'm assuming it'll be a Cynthia, but we're about to find out. Malamar's going to come down. I believe they have plenty of Psychics in the discard to recharge onto the Giratina. Just looking for one more... Um, either one more energy in hand or one more Malamar they can put out. But like I said, I have a feeling there's a Cynthia in their hand that they're about to play. And then they'll be all good. We do see a switch, so the Giratina comes up. Do we see an energy in hand? No, nope, but we do see a Cynthia, as I said. So, yeah. That should probably grab them the energy they need. There's another Malamar. Do we see the energy? We see another Inke. Do we see an energy? We see a Psychic Recharge. But do we see an energy? On to Mimikyu. Fair enough. Pass. Okay. So, uh, my play is pretty simple. I'm going to attach here. I'm probably going to knock out the Mimikyu this turn to prevent any massive damage coming down on me. So, we're going to double custom up the Mimikyu this turn. Um, and then I'm going to Cynthia because I want to try and get into Absol here if I can. I do whiff on getting Absol. Second Jirachi is meh. All this stuff is pretty meh. Oh no, Keldeo is important. I need to put down Keldeo because that gives me a second attacker. Knock out here, which is fine. He'll be able to knock me out again with Giratina. Double water plus metal onto Keldeo. So I have a second attacker going down um, if shit hits the fan. But at this stage, I am three knockouts away from winning. Oh, sorry, two knockouts away from winning. 
And I have two Pokemon down that can knock out everything. I think, at this stage, honestly, the game is just done. It is that fast, your wins against Malamar. I don't really know what my opponent can do. All the Mally's down. If he has a switch, it doesn't even matter. He attacks me, I attack him back, get knockout, and then Kyoto knocks out everything. It just doesn't matter. I have Mallow and Lana too for when he attacks me, so I'm going to spring up Keldeo. Or bring up Jirachi. Bring up Jirachi is probably better. I'll probably discard the Reset Stamp. No, I'll discard the Great Catcher. Oh, we see Ultra to Krosma. Okay. Interesting. Um, does that change anything? Uh, only if he has a Metal Energy in hand. If there's no Metal Energy, I don't think this changes anything, really. If he can't secure a knockout, it doesn't change anything. Uh, I can just get the chip anyway, and then get a knockout with Keldeo, all the same. So, it looks like he's charging up with Giratina. It's not going to matter, I don't think. Here we are going to see the switch. Giratina's going to come up. We're going to get Shadow Impacted. I just don't think it's going to matter, especially since I'm going to be Malamon and lana this turn. Since Malamar don't have room for... Um, Malamar do not have room... For what do you call it? Um, uh, pardon me. They do not have room for reset stamp. Okay, Malo and Lana. We are going to discard Great Catcher plus a Jirachi. Heal all our damage. Bring up our Jirachi. They don't have an Absol on the bench, so it's just free as fuck to do that. Uh, and then we just Stella Wish. There's the Pecom we wanted. So we've got the Pecom. And uh, then we can Pecom back the Jirachi. And grab an Absol. Put down the Absol to increase the retreat cost of my opponent. Retreat this out to Keldeo. And then he just forfeits, yeah. Like, Malamar, I feel, is just one of those matchups that is incredibly strong for ADP. The only chance Malamar has against it is if you're able to get off that really fast Clear Vision GX play with Latios. Um... Other than that, I just don't see how it's done. Okay, this is an interesting matchup. I feel like we probably should lose this, but you never know. Actually, no. Why am I saying that? Okay, we lost the coin flip. We're going first, but it's kind of fine. We are playing against uh, Guardian, and we do open pretty strong, though. Um, how do I feel about this? I feel pretty good. Um, hmm. Right, so I'm a little bit concerned because we could alter creation, but he'll fairy song, and then we're in trouble. Hmm. A little bit worried. We're going to tag call. Uh, we have Lucario Mel Metal, which is good. We have Guzman Hala, which is good. All right. So we can attach for turn. Lucario Mel Metal down here. So I think I just misplayed already. I think I should have put the energy onto Lucario Mel Metal. I think. We're going to Cherish Ball and grab the Keldeo. But I may peek on the Keldeo away. We'll see. See how I'm feeling. I think I want a Guzma Hala. Yeah. Discarding Cynthia because I can Cynthia and Caitlyn at next turn. And then. Probably the rainbow I already have in hand. Take those two away. Grab Swell. Grab Helmet to avoid getting one shot. And then grab Board. I can't grab Board. Oh, wait. I have no other energies to grab. What? Where are my rainbows? Oh, no. That's kind of bad. Oh, did I mess up? I might have messed up. Mm, shit. I might have messed up. We'll see. So next turn, the plan is to try and get down the Altered Creation GX. And because we have the Choice Helmet on the ADP, we don't get knocked out by Fairy Song. Oh, sorry, by um, Kaleido Storm. So our opponent is forced to Magical Miracle. So our opponent Minas and does the Power Plant. And then probably just Fairy Songs. Yep. So we're still in a bit of a pickle. Uh, what can we draw that can save our ass? Uh, board doesn't really do a lot. It's a discard for Cynthia and Caitlyn, as far as I'm concerned. 
We have to discard the escape board, grab back the Cynthia. Uh, none of these cards help. We're just going to lose. We're just going to lose. Why Why were my other rainbows prized? If those rainbows weren't prized, I could have altered creation this turn. I mean, granted, if he had a switch and an energy, and then he just declares magical miracle and knocks me out, I should have just been attaching to this. Man, all I needed was another energy. I could have played it so safe. I could have played it so safe. I, I sh Okay, I should lose. There, there is no way I come back from this. I don't know why I'm bothering. My opponent should have cards in hand to be able to absolutely destroy me here. Running Amulet for whatever reason. Puts back Mina, draws three. Just attach for turn and switch. That's all you need. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I could have played this so much better, dude. He fairy songs again. He, he's giving me a chance. So I have the choice to either altered creation or or not, or just start charging up Lucario on Mel Metal. Uh, that might be better. So like, my fear is that they just magical miracle. So like, magical miracle next turn is looking scary as fuck. So, what can I do? Not a whole lot with this. What? What is this? What am I supposed to do? I can peek on my way a giraffe rig. For another Keldeo. So here's what I'm thinking. I play... I shouldn't have added a Pokemon. Well, I play the Keldeo. In order to win... I have to double custom catcher that up and then play another custom catcher to draw. What? Oh my god, no, no, no. Even even if I did draw, I needed to draw like a stadium as well as an anti that was just bad. I, I should have been charging up the Lucario and Mel Metal from the start and just focusing on recycling Mallow and Lana's and winning that way. A lot of times it's just too slow. To set up the ADP, I literally had Lucario Mel Metal turn one. I should have just been going for that, and I was stupid. Please don't play like me. Don't don't be stupid like me. This will be the last uh, matchup of the episode. Hidekipedia, sure. I win the coin flip, so obviously I will go first with this deck. There is no reason to go second. You're not running ends resolve. Please don't ever run ends resolve. Uh, this is a really good starting hand. Probably would rather not have the giraffe, but uh, yeah, I probably would rather have P common cherish ball. But ah, well, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, let's grab Absol. Absol down. Let's go cherish ball and grab ADP. Chuck ADP down with a rainbow. And then Stellawish. And we'll grab Cynthia and Caitlyn. Looks fine. Yeah, I like Cynthia and Caitlyn here. What am I going to discard? Probably Custom Catcher. If anything here. Probably the Custom Catcher to draw three. Okay, that's fine. That, that's totally fine. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't know what my opponent's playing. Could be a mirror match. It is a mirror match. Uh, I feel good because I put down an Absol and he doesn't have an Absol down. Uh, forced him to have more switches. We see a Stellar Wish come down. Okay, he just passes. So I guess like he Stellar Wish and just didn't hit anything there. I feel like that wasn't really a good last game though. And I can win one more and then I finish my rewards it looks like. Let me let me double check here. Uh, yep, twelve more. So total wins. Let's, let's get to twelve total wins. Come on, let's let's just get there, guys. This last game, let's get to twelve total wins. Let's get it done. What the hell am I playing against? Potentially Mewtwo. Because there's a grass. I want the coin flip, so I guess I'll go first. I always wonder what the grass Pokemon is. Um. 
All right, this hand is an interesting one, for sure. We'll open ADP, and it might be all right. I'm not sure what I'm playing against, to be perfectly honest with you. We just see a Jirachi, so that doesn't give me a lot of information. We are going to attach, though, for turn. I think we still tag call for Goose Mahala. And then we'll probably also grab maybe Cynthia and Caitlyn to get back to Rosa. I like that. So we Guzma and Hala, and we're going to discard Rosa and a Water Energy, I think, from our hand. Grab Swell. Now, we're preemptively expecting to grab a Jirachi later on, so I'm going to grab a Helmet and a Rainbow. Yeah. I think the, the Swell is really important in cases like Mewtwo, and the Helmet is also important. I think this is an okay turn one. Next turn, we can discard uh, probably an Energy or the Capture, grab back... Um, Oh, what? What? You're joking. They open with Malamar? Uh, the Malamar Mar Shadow? Why? I don't get how people are this lucky. I don't... I don't get it, bro. I, I could understand if he opened with, like, a treasure and then found it. But opening with the Mar Shadow is kind of crazy. I think we're still in an okay spot, though, because he can resetting hole if he wants to put down half, right? But I can just find another half. It's no big deal. Oh, sorry, I can just find another swell. I think he will just, yeah, he's going to Guzma and Harley, get all this shit. I didn't get the Absol out either, which would have been amazing right now. Uh, but the Mewtwo can't knock me out, which is the really important thing. I don't think he has anything in discard other than Espic Dio, so... You know, like, I don't actually think the start is too bad. Half comes down, it's it's whatever. I could go for another Guzma and Hala too now. If I don't want to go Rosa, I could go Guzma and Hala. We'll see. Ah, oh, I just top deck a swell. Sick. Uh, we top deck swell. Stuff that. Attach here. We'll probably Cynthia and Caitlyn away the metal. To grab back the Rosa. And then draw three off of that. So we hit the Jirachi and the Switch, which is kind of filthy. However, I think what I... Mm, now, do I want a great catcher up the Mewtwo to prevent the Jirachi from Stellar Wishing? Is the question. Probably not. I don't know, because I also have the choice here. I, I don't want to risk trying to switch into Jirachi to hit an escape ball that I might not hit. I think I just go for Alter Creation, and we go from there. I think I have options next turn, and my opponent doesn't have an immediate knockout on me. They don't have a means, so they're going to add an Acro Bike. They don't have Charizard GX. They don't have, like, they haven't revealed anything yet. So we see the Acro Bike. There's a Sol Galeas. They can Turbo Strike. Which honestly looks like what they're about to do. They dead a change away their hand. Any important GXs in there? Nope, not a single one. That's that's crucial. Uh, see a selfie hood? Not a big deal. See a cherish ball? Maybe for Charizard? Nope, for Greninja. Each their own. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Because we can great catch up the Dedenne as well to knock it out, which I'm kind of for. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so he's just going to Turbo Strike, right? That, that's the whole play here. Turbo Strike for 90. It's, yeah. Turbo Strike for 90. Puts a damage on Dedenne, so I'm just going to target that Dedenne and knock it out. <sighs> Seems like the play. Um, yeah, I don't see a downside of doing it. I get three prizes. So I'll attach for turn. The only thing I'm lacking is a target for ADP to put energy onto. Is there anything in the discard that threatens knockout? I don't think so right now. I think I'm just in a too good of a position, so... I think we Great Catcher, we discard the Rainbow and the Custom Catcher to keep Rosa and Switch for if... if somehow he knocks me out with Mewtwo. I don't think he will, though. I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to Ultimate Ray for knockout. Um, I have no reason to put any energies onto Jirachi. I just don't see how my opponent, like, 
Unless they have some broken shit in hand, I just don't think they'll be able to knock me out this turn. They need like a really good discard and then to go from there. If they do get it though, that could be bad. They have Greninja in hand, I know that for sure. But they haven't played Worldy yet. They got nothing off that Stellarish. So they're going to Cherish Ball probably for another Dedenne. And then go from there. Uh, yep, there's the Dedenne. So they're really going to be skimming through the deck. Um, I did choose to discard a Custom Catcher. That, that could have been a misplay. I don't know. So the Mewtwo's going to come back up. Is he just going to miss Slash is the question. Because if that's the case, I think I just win. Yeah. So he missed Slashes, which is fine. But I think now I just put him in like a checkmate position. Because I have the ADP. I Cherish Ball to grab the... Oh, Keldeo's not there. Neither Keldeo... Wait a minute. Both my Keldeo's are prized. Okay. Okay. Well, I still have ADP plus ADP. So that should be enough for game. But we'll get a Cynthia. Because I want to try and find... Okay, sick. That Absol is very good. We have Double Switch and Chaos Swell and Tag Call. So I can grab Double Mallow and Lana. I can attach this Water for turn. I can switch into this Jirachi this turn. Stella Wish to grab the Escape Board because... Why not? Or do I want to grab... Well, actually, hold on. Do I have Rosa? No, I don't have Rosa. I don't think there's a point. I think a skateboard's better here. Just grab the escape board. No need to make any risky plays. Attach that escape board. Retreat back out to the ADP. And then fire off a nice ultimate ray. And then we just grab one metal and one water onto this ADP. And now I just feel like like, what can he do? What can he do at this point? If he knocks me out and I bring up Jirachi, I think I'm fine as well. I don't believe he has Latios in the discard, so we're just fine. He needs to have Mallow and Lana here. Oh, Miraculous Duo. Ooh. No, that's fine. Miraculous Duo is fine. I got so worried for a second, but it means he can't Flare Blitz GX, so I'm fine. <laughs> I, I genuinely got worried for a second. So we just bring up Jirachi. The Cario Mel Metal is useless. Can we hit like Rosa? We hit one custom catcher, that's good. So one catch is really solid. Don't have the second one yet, but we do have Malo Alana plus switches to hunt for it. And Ultimate Ray here feels fine. No need to add anything. So he has no way to knock us out. Uh, which feels great. Um, he has no. He could attack the bench maybe with like Naganadel. Definitely going through a lot of cards. I'm just hunting one of two custom catches. Double welder. Uh, if he has Macargo, I will lose. Which I suppose is what he's hunting for here. Uh, it's Naganadel. That's not going to do it. I don't think he runs the Macargo. I could be wrong, though. Another Mewtwo. Not a big deal. He's welded onto this Mewtwo as well, so... What's the plan? Okay. What are you hunting for? A reset stamp? I'm not sure what my opponent's hunting for. He grabs a treasure. Uh, okay, if he has a Macargo in hand, he wins. So, let's see. Hey, just Latios is okay. Latios makes sense, though, because you can just tag perch. There's a stamp, but I don't know how impactful that's going to be. Not very at all. Treats back out to Mewtwo. Just going to tag perch. And I'll, I'll be just like, alright. Can I just top deck the custom catcher for game? I cannot. I do get a Malo and Lana, though. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. Um, hmm... I feel like I do it. I feel like if I have Malo and Lana here, 
And then I can use Jirachi Stellowish. I can just win. If I hit the capture. So like, a Malolana to heal, and then he can't knock me out anyway. So I have like two turns to do it, so I think it's worth it. We get a Malolana, we're actually going to ditch the Reset Stamp and the Cynthia. To bring up the Jirachi. If we can hit a Custom Catcher here, we just win the game, guys. Can we do it? Let's go. Let's go! Let's go, dude. Alright, we hit that Custom Catcher. We bring back up this ADP real quick, and we Custom Catcher up that. To Dene. And that is going to seal off the game right there. Whoo! Really close game against Mewtwo. But uh, the deck pulls through. Interesting choice by my opponent to Magical Miracle GX. Um, don't know if it was the best play, but there's both of my beautiful Keldeos. They would have been so helpful in this matchup. But unfortunately, couldn't get to them. But hey, we pull out the W. Pretty stoked with that one. Uh, the deck put in work. I think uh, almost every matchup. We smashed. I think there was just one where we bricked. Uh, I, I, I just played pretty badly against Guardian. So that's just lesson learned from there. But yeah, pardon me. Big win. Really stoked with how the deck played. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, pardon me, subscribe. I've got hiccups now. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll come at you again probably tomorrow with another video. So thank you for watching. My name is Averd.